as Tab TV viewers, you know that we spend a lot of time talking about things like regulation, the impact of regulation, the potential impact, what's happening in Washington, uh, things like market structure, flash crash, and all those types of issues that are very important. Today we're going to talk about innovations in hardware acceleration, which is a little bit different, but it's also critically important to what's going on, not only in Wall Street, but in capital markets around the world. And joining me today is Terry Stratudakis, who's the Executive Director of Wall Street FPGA. Terry, thanks for joining us today. Uh, Terry's done some interesting work uh, specifically around fixed engine acceleration. So think about your fixed engine and kind of, you know, putting some rocket boosters on there. Um, and Terry's going to tell us a little bit about that. So first of all, you know, can you dig a little bit into what it is you guys are doing around fix, the fixed engines? All right. So uh, FPGAs are currently used for, mainly used for market data uh, handling. Mm -hmm. And so once you get all that data into your system, you need to be able to respond quickly and send those orders out faster than anybody else. Sure. And so that's what we've been able to do with our um, putting fix order entry and fix into an FPGA. Uh, gives allows people to respond very quickly to different types of events that they detect. Okay. Now, FPGAs in and of themselves are not new, right? I mean, you're just sort of right. using the technology and applying it to a different part of the marketplace. Is that right? Yeah. So FPGAs came out in the 80s. Okay. And they've been used in uh, telecom and aerospace, defense, medical, medical systems. And now, recently, the past few years, in the financial services industry. Okay, can you tell us a little bit, Terry, about how you uh, develop or how you develop them, and, and kind of the way you, you know, I guess create them? I mean, the, we were talking earlier, kind of a different way of approach to the de actual development of them. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So we program them in a graphical way, and what that means is the the, the good analogy for that is uh, that of an architect, mm -hmm. and an architect doesn't type out where the living room is going to be in different parts of a house or, or a floor, they draw it. Right. And with an FPGA, you're creating a chip. So the chip is going to have different parts. And so that's how we, we describe it graphically. Okay. And so this, uh, this, this greatly accelerates your development time. It, it also allows you to put more complexity, more functions into the FPGA than previously uh, right. done. So um, since you're able to develop things quicker now, um, how important is that to clients? I mean, is it is it about that getting you know getting that piece on there quicker? I mean, how important yeah, is so that? I mean, you could. We kn we know the capital markets knows that FPGAs are have a very strong benefit to them, but you can't put everything into an FPGA because there's certain limiting factors. Okay. And so, but here, if you take away those limiting factors and you could do more in the FPGA in a faster amount of time, mm -hmm. you can maintain them. Uh, more easily than than the alternative approaches. Okay, those gives you th those that can give you some significant advantages. Sure. Now, in terms of the users of FPGAs and who you guys are working with, um, it's you know it's, it's certainly across asset classes and, and different areas of capital markets. But there is kind of a specific. Uh, we were talking as one of the things we mentioned was kind of co-location and how that yeah. plays into it. Can you tell us a little bit about you know kind of specifically? who you're working with and the, and the firms and people who actually can use this technology to its greatest benefit. Right. So th the biggest users of FPGAs currently are those that are co-located mm -hmm. and those that, are, that have large data centers. So FPGAs can help you provide, th they'll give you the lower latency mm -hmm. for the co-located, for the people that are trading, want to trade very quickly. Right. And also for people that have large data centers, FPGAs will help reduce their, their footprint in terms of how much energy they, they spend mm. and just increase their computing power. Okay. So, and that, both of those things, uh, co-location and uh, amount of data, data centers, uh, those are things certainly that, that TAB Forum members are keenly aware of and familiar with because we do um, have a lot of information on TAB Forum about that. So that's, that's interesting, um, a good point to make. And finally, Terry, you know, as, as you know as well as anyone, uh, innovation continually happens, right? It's not like, okay, we've got something and now we're done. Um, as you have worked on this with the fixed engine and kind of accelerating that, part of the marketplace. How do you see the use of FPGAs continuing to kind of develop on in capital markets? So traditionally FPGAs were used by banks and, and financial services uh, through vendors. They would mm -hmm. buy a box that would accelerate a certain part of the process. Right. And now what I'm seeing happening is a lot of institutions are starting their own FPGA development teams. Okay. So you're putting tools in the hands of these developers. Uh, they're working with people that have knowledge of capital markets and they're able to uh, it's 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 uh, they're definitely going to come out with some really cool solutions, uh, problems that maybe in the past weren't something that a, a vendor could solve. Right. 
and it's you know th they know really what their their pain points are, and they can solve those problems internally. It's going to be really interesting to yeah, see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll certainly have to keep our eyes open and uh, probably have you come in and tell us about it because uh, that's sort of beyond my scope of, of understanding and, and knowledge in the marketplace. But uh, it, it can clearly see how kind of the sky's the limit. So that's, uh, that's great. So I appreciate your coming in and, and sharing with us about uh, you know, hardware acceleration and kind of you know, putting some rocket boosters on your fixed engine. So uh, my name is Greg Crawford. I'm the editor of Tab Forum. I'm joined today by Terry Stradudakis, who's the executive director of Wall Street FPGA. Thanks for joining us. Joining us.